This is Dabu7. Some updated information in regards to the water down here in Texas. We are now hearing that samples being taken in Texas of the flood water are showing very high levels of E. coli and coliform. Now, both of these are being detected in the waters that are floating around in the streets. They've tested the drinking water and then the flood water. They're saying right now it seems as though the drinking water is safe in terms of what they tested for. There's no telling what else could be in there. If they only tested for a few things, well, then that leaves all the other things out there that could possibly be in the water. They could possibly still be there. They did not test for everything. In this instance, this professor from Texas A&M was trying to find if there were high levels of E. coli in the bacteria in the floodwaters. What they come to find out is that there is. There is sewage runoff in these waters. There are all types of different uh, things lurking in these waters. And they're saying that this is a big health concern because out of this could come another issue, a major health issue. Now, we've also witnessed a plant just explode in Texas. They also shut down all their air sensors. This is very suspect. Very, 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 very suspect that they've done this. And at all times, with the chemical plant exploding, with high levels of all the stuff in the water, and they want to shut down sensors. So I just want to let it be known here. This is what they're talking about in terms of the water on the ground. So if you're down there and there's any way to protect yourself from actually absorbing any of this water, like a suit, um, anything to keep it off of you. I understand in a rescue type of situation, it doesn't matter. But if at all possible, if you can avoid these waters, especially swimming in them, getting any in your mouth, ears, eyes, anything like that, at all costs, try to avoid doing so because right now it's just a bunch of sewage and bacteria and a bunch of nasty stuff floating around out there all over the place. And at this point, they're confirming high levels. So I'll continue to update with more info as I come across it. I'll leave a link below. It's been Dabu7.